in collaboration with uh, Professor Rick Blobe and his postdoc, Sandy Kawano at Clemson University, we studied the mudskipper, a small fish that can swim quite well, but also can use its appendages, its limbs, to propel itself on land. We were interested in trying to get a better understanding of one of the most important evolutionary events in our history as animals, which is the transition from animals living in water to living on land. If we can figure out how they are able to move on land, it could give us an insight into what some of these first animals that, that did this in our ancestry were doing in the past. We find that most of our robot models have trouble uh, moving on terrain like sandy slopes. And in fact, when we studied the mudskipper, uh, and the data was later analyzed by Ben McEnroe, an undergrad at the time at Georgia Tech, we discovered that not only did they use their limbs to propel themselves in a kind of crutching motion, they used their tails in concert with limb propulsion to help them uh, ascend a sandy slope. In this experiment, we took really three different complementary approaches, each of which has its own advantage. The mudskipper fish provide a morphological functional model of these early walkers. With the robot, we were able to simplify out all of the complexity of the mudskipper and really understand physical mechanisms uh, behind what was happening. And finally, we also had a mathematical model. And using those simulations, we were really able to understand the physics behind what was going on. The mathematical model was developed by uh, colleagues of ours at Carnegie Mellon, Professor Howie Chosin, his uh, PhD student at the time, uh, Chao Wei Gong. The physical model is a, basically a very simple we call robo-physical device and sort of how physicists would build a robot. We use the robot to help us understand something, uh, behavior in the animal, and the animal, studying the animal, we really sort of observed this, this new behavior that led us to hypothesize that some of the earliest land locomotors could have used the tail, could have been that extra little helper to, to enable ascent on riverbanks or mud flats, which, uh, which and impassable otherwise. We had biologists working on this, we had people who had insight into fossils, but we also had physicists, we had roboticists, we had computational, mathematical researchers, and the only way to get the insight that we did was to put all of those pieces together. 